So we are getting into chapter three <clears throat> this week. Let me jump back over to <clears throat> Blackboard. Excuse me. And in chapter three and chapter four, we get into job order costing and allocating overhead. And I always tell people when you get into this, start thinking about when you go to a restaurant and if everybody at the table ordered the same thing, then you could take the ticket and divide by the number of people and it would be a equitable split. However, if one person orders an appetizer and one person orders three mixed drinks and one person gets steak and then you've got another person sitting over there getting water and a salad, if you split the bill, it's not an equitable um, split. And so when we get into allocating overhead, that's what we're thinking about. We're taking like our electric bill and we're allocating it to the different products. And so if one product is taking more machine time, it should be getting more of the electric bill allocated to it. And that's what we get into in chapter three with our predetermined overhead rate. And then in chapter four, we get into variable costing. And this is where it's really important that you understand the difference between fixed cost and variable cost. Because variable costing is a management method we use where we only um, let our products absorb our variable costs. Because we're, we're and, and the big difference is your fixed manufacturing overhead. That's the one thing you have to keep an eye on with variable costing. We, we don't attach our fixed manufacturing overhead to our product with variable costing, but we do with absorption costing. And you think about that, it absorbs all of the costs. That's how you think about absorption versus variable. So have fun with these chapters this week.